Three separate car crashes today in Fairfax County killed two people and injured at least four others. Early this morning, a car hit and killed a woman walking along Kirby Road at Old Dominion Drive in McLean. This afternoon, a man was killed in a serious crash on Arlington Boulevard at Stonehurst Drive near Maryfield. And around the same time, a four car crash on Route 50 in Fair Oaks closed down the highway for hours. New at 5, Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder explains one of the reasons that road was closed for so long. About a mile of Route 50 at I-66 was closed in both directions for several hours this afternoon because the highway resembled a scrapyard. Four cars were involved, but only three were accounted for when investigators interviewed Mike Rasmussen, who looked up and saw the red SUV first. Hauling down here, but her hood was up on the windshield. Mike watched the red SUV hit the Land Rover. When she struck that vehicle, it threw her into the median, up over the guardrail. The red SUV bounced like a ping pong ball into westbound traffic. Mark Murray was sitting in his car and heard what happened next. I heard a big crash, and I looked up uh, to see what it was. An oncoming U-Haul slammed into the red SUV. The driver's face was covered in blood. So then I ran out. Back down the highway, the red SUV was thrown back over the median onto the eastbound side. Threw up in the air, she spun around, landed down on her car. Both drivers were trapped inside their cars. Once removed, they were treated for life-threatening injuries, and police say they're now expected to survive. Onlookers try to make sense of what they just saw, and already police are discussing sending resources to another crash. Chopper 4 flew over a three-vehicle crash on Arlington Boulevard near Maryfield, where one man was killed. And this morning in McLean, a driver hit and killed a woman who was walking along Kirby Avenue. Back in Fair Oaks, the highway traffic was diverted towards the mall, where bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic resembled holiday shopping season here before the Internet. Police say it will take them a while to piece together how this happened, while the county, more broadly, considers how so many dangerous crashes happened within hours of each other. Reporting in Fairfax County, Drew Wilder, News 4. Fairfax County Police say the driver who hit and killed the pedestrian in McLean stayed on the scene and is cooperating. Police have not filed criminal charges in any of today's crashes.